Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we have a collection video for today's video, and there's a huge amount. So um, yeah, let's get started. So let's start with United Airlines. So we have in the old livery, R777s, all the same registration, but in different, I had these, this one is my first 777 I got. And then this is a newer 777 I got last year. And these two are very old ones, but still intact. And this is a Matchbox 777, but in the Continental logo. And then moving to the new livery, we have an NG Models, United 737-900. It's a nice model. And this is a, here's a United Triple Two from Gentleman Jets. It's a cool one. I like 777, especially those ones, the Pride and Windy engines. And here's a 787 new livery. And here's the, the 747s, two retired. This is a, both of these are 747s, 400s. Um, they're good airplanes. I had these for a while. This one is older, and this one's a newer one. That one is missing a nose gear, unfortunately. Then moving to American Airlines. Here we have. The triple sevens. This is a newer one I got in this trip to Spain. Also the United two, and then here's the triple seven, another triple seven, and it's another new one. It's an American A three fifty, and then the old livery two seven six sevens. Then into Delta, we have a seven five seven seven six seven. These are three seven six sevens. One of these is a newer one. One thing that Darren should do is release the Airbus A330 because I flew that one and it was a good airplane. And then we have a 777. This one is broken, by the way, and this one too. It's missing a stabilizer, an elevator, oh, wait, a wing tip, and then the elevator. And then here's an A350. And then moving to the low cost carriers of America, we have a JetBlue A320, a Spirit A320, a Legion A320, Frontier A320, and then Southwest Airlines. I have a 737, two 737s in the movery, and the old Southwest, old Southwest Canyon Blues. These two are broken, they're missing. This one is missing a um, nose gear and stabilizers, and this one is missing as well. That's not as bad as damage. Then we have Alaska 737, a YN-A330. This is an older one, and this is a newer A330, and a new livery, very beautiful. And then Copa Airlines 737. This is South American and Central America. It's the Caribbean 737, Aero Mexico 787, Latam 787, and Tam Airbus A330. And then moving to our little Canadian collection here, we have a Air Canada 777, the old livery. Oh, that one, that Tam is very rare, by the way. And this one's a rare one, the WestJet 737 without winglets. And then moving to our House liveries. We have a triple seven X. This is a cool one. And it's a seven eight seven house livery. That was my first ever seven eight seven I got. And then we have also a very rare rare one is an Omnier seven five two, Pan Am DC ten. This is the cool one. And the Air Force One seven four seven. And then our cargo. We have a UPS seven forty seven freighter and a FedEx 777. So moving to our international carriers. So we start with BA or British Airways. We have the Concorde. That one is retired back in 2003, but it's a cool airplane to have. And then we have a 787 Dreamliner, two 747s. These ones are retired too. They both have the same registrations. And the A380, the only four engine airplane that's still remaining in the fleet of British Airways. And then we have back here, a little, and here's an Air France Concorde. That one is retired as well. This one's missing a nose gear right here. There's an Iberia A350. Sorry, I got all messed up. And we have an Alitalia A330, Lufthansa A350, and then my first gen, my jets, it's a Lufthansa A340 300. And a KLM 787 Dreamliner. And then moving on to our Middle Eastern collection here. We have two Emirates A380s, a Turkish Airlines 777, and the LL 787. And then a Qantas A380. 
that was my first ever A380. This one is very rare to find now. So yeah. And then moving to our Skymarks collection, we have a Air France 777-200. This is a cool one, has landing gears. I have a 777-300 Air France, but it's broken and it was it's lost somewhere. And here's a Hawaiian 767. This one is retired, I believe. It's missing two of the elevators. I don't know what happened to that one. And this is another new one I got on my trip. It's a British Airways A350. That one's a very cool one. This is a 1200 scale, 1250, and that's 1200. Um, oh, I forgot these ones. Here's my Cessnas. These are also very rare, I think. These are made from Matchbox. A relative of mine gave me these for Christmas. These are very cool. This is a Piper. I'm not sure what type. I think it's a Cherokee, I believe. And then here's a Cessna 172. This is a nice one. And I have another one. And a Seaplane Cessna 210. So, yeah. That is it for my collection. Um... So yeah, so there were how many models? There was five new models featured. No, six because the Latam, I got that in November. So yeah, guys, so I'm sorry it was a little bit quick. It's just in case my battery ran out. So go check out my plane spotting video I made at Tampa. It was very cool. We caught a British Airways 777 and a Finnair A350. It was nice. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll, po I'll, help, I'll probably post another video of an airport update in later this month or in uh, September. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, here, I'll do a little tail shot before we finish. Yeah, look at all these airplanes. I'm not sure how many airplanes I have in my fleet. Probably like 100 of them. But um, yeah, there's my Lufthansa's over there. One thing I want, I want Darren to release a Delta A330 and a Tanza 747 and a uh, Air France 222. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and have a good school week, guys. Bye. Peace out.